Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. I'm not gonna lie, I just had a McDonald's. Had chicken nuggets. No, I'm not really that ashamed. Yeah, so there's this movie called Hannibal. Have you heard of it? Uh, I heard about Hannibal. Hannibal. Hannibal the Cannibal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right, so have you seen this movie called Hannibal? Um, no, I can't say I have. No? No, no, no mate. Have you seen Hannibal? No. Uh, no An Anthony, seen, but... Anthony Hopkins, Silence yeah, of the yeah, Lambs? Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. But I've never seen it. you never seen it? No. Okay. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, Silence yeah, yeah. of the Lambs. There's this scene at the end where he's in the airplane and he's got like a box of food. It's got like figs and fruit and some cheese and then it's got this little container with the human brains in there. Anyway, there's this little kid on the plane and comes up to him, curiously asks him like, Oh, can I, can I try some? What's that? Oh, that's caviar. Huh? Cool. This little kid is sitting across from him, is like curious and wants to try some of his food, and he points at the brains and wants some of that. And that. And this. And Hannibal gives it to him, and the little the little kid doesn't know it's uh, human brains. It looks good. Oh, it is good. Can I have some? You're a very unusual boy, aren't you? I couldn't eat what they gave me. He feeds him the human brains, this little kid. Yeah. Open up. What do you think about that? Like, I mean, that's not normal, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, fun movie, I guess. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's messed up, man. What the hell? <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah. Do you think it's bad to give them their brains? Yeah, I yeah. think, yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Why? Why is it bad? Because it's not a beautiful thing. Yeah. Because you know, you don't yeah. know. <laughs> the, the little kid would be upset, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You think it's morally wrong, like it's, it's wrong even though the child doesn't know? Like, you know, I think the wrong is with not telling the people yeah. that it's the human brain. Okay. Because otherwise, like, if you would tell the person, I think you know, being honest is much better than hiding something. I think it's weird though, like, to feed a kid something that they don't know the full, you know, length of what happened. Yeah, but that's why it's a movie, yeah? Yeah. What do you think about feeding a child, like, something they don't really know the full impact of what it is, you know? <laughs> um, I mean, you, you could just give it to them and they wouldn't know what it is. You wouldn't feed, okay, that's, that's a line, you wouldn't feed a child human brains, but you would feed a child meat, because they need meat, like, it's scientifically proven. But if you're going to feed, like, another human being their own meat, that's just messed, like. So, can I, like, correlate that to real life here? You know, like, when we feed kids, like, say, a hot dog, but they don't know that there's a slaughtered pig inside the hot dog? Do you think that's kind of like the same thing? Uh, I guess it's okay. You, do you think it's the same thing? Not really, no. No? Human brains is something else than a uh, pig. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But what if the kid found out that there was a slaughtered pig inside the hot dog? Little kid. Then the parents should tell it that there's animals in the hot dogs. Yeah. It's not really a big surprise to me. Yeah. And if the, if the small child were to know that that was a human brain from a murdered person, mm -hmm. they would not want to eat it, would they? If they saw that murder happen. I mean, that's upon the child. Nah. There's some chance that they would eat it. Yeah, small is... chance. More than likely not, though. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're curious. You yeah. Know. You're a very unusual boy, aren't you? I couldn't eat what they gave me. Like, Children are like, weird these imagine, days. <laughs> but imagine that you're a child and you see that like a person murdered. Killed. Yes, yeah. and then you're getting a brain to eat it. Like I really doubt that there will be child who would stay on the movie scene too. But like I still think we need to consider all the children, and I think some of them may like, have weird tastes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if their parents didn't tell them? Do you think that's okay? Uh, I guess it's okay. <laughs> it's not really a big deal. Little kids don't worry about. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pigs in hot dogs. Heaven's Grill. I don't think it's heaven for the animals. More like Hell's Grill. From Hell's Slaughterhouse to Heaven's Grill. I don't think so. We give small children, say, a hot dog, and there's bodies of pigs who have been stabbed in the throat, murdered, uh, you know, drowned in blood, all those things. But we don't tell them that, do we? No. No, no. we don't. We no. hide the fact we that actually that. these are the animals who yeah. are killed. So. We call it a hot dog or ham or some other name. Yeah. yeah. 
What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Lambs. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs. They were screaming. If a child seen a slaughterhouse, pig screaming, blood everywhere, do you think they would want to eat the hot dog? Don't think so, no. Yeah. Gets are pretty impressionable. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So that's why I was trying to draw the correlation between that movie and the real life. So you went straight to animals? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Why did you do that? I could just tell where it was going okay. and, you know... Because it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, you know... Yeah. No, it's just I made the quick connection yeah. of it that yeah. when you, as soon as you said it's outright, and I was like, oh, yeah, great. <laughs> so do you think it's different to give a little kid a dead animal if they don't know it's a dead yeah. animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there. But you could and you did, didn't you? Yes. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. So, do you think if we showed them that process, they would want to eat these hot dogs and this ham? And I had like personal experience with this because yeah. I was a little and my parents were like openly talking to me about how the animals are treated yeah. and since that time like I, I was vegetarian for a really long time wow. and uh, I Amazing. think it had a great impact on me because they were like not hiding it from me oh, wow. but at the same time like it was a bit scary for me to see at the age of like nine because yeah. I mean it's not pleasant to look at but I think that's the point when people see something which is like not pleasant to look at I think that what makes the impact I think yeah. our like um, the the fact that we're consuming so much meat is because we don't want to see how it's produced. Wow, that's a very good insight. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? All right, yes. Uh, I love animals. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's I love really it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Do you think if a child saw, uh, like, let's just say a pig getting stabbed in the throat in a slaughterhouse, blood everywhere, screaming, do you think they'd want to eat, like, let's just say a hot dog? No, because um, when I was little I saw a pig being like tortured and stuff and I think that's how they make it and stuff. It's not really what you want to see, is it? And it, it's put me off pork for life now. Really? So yeah, I don't wow. eat it anymore. Like, it's, it's just not what you want to see. It completely puts you off the food. Like You still wake up sometimes, don't you? You wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Wow, who was the first person to give you meat? Uh, I'd say my parents, yeah. probably. Did they tell you it was a slaughtered animal? No, they didn't. No, they just said, you know, grubs up, there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, saw, you saw it as food. What about you? Who was the first person to give you meat? Couldn't remember, but it's kind of like shielding kids from the truth. Like, you wouldn't tell them, oh, like, an animal died in a horrific way. Eat their meat. It's like, you would, people, their parents would still tell their kids, oh, Santa's real. What became of your lamb, Glory? Uh, chicken, Abba. I love two animals. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's hard. A, it's no, hard. it's a difficult show, is it? Well, you like, you mean like a five year old child sees a lamb get their head cut off? What do you think, like, what do you believe a child is going to do if they've seen that? Oh, yeah, they're not probably going to eat lamb or whatever meat for the rest of their life. Yeah. Or until they decided to block that memory out. So, we can feed them lamb without their knowledge. Do you think that's ethical still? Well, they don't know how the animal got killed. Okay. Wait, so, no. you agree it's wrong? Yeah. You think it might be a little bit hard to Maybe. change? I would like one day to be uh, veg vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. 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 Vegan. Vegan. Have you heard vegano? No. Yeah. No. I don't... Vegan. No, no, che no. no animal product. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, is really this is really hard. This is really hard. I love it, but I think in time, can I uh, change? Can I change? Slowly, slowly. Slowly, okay. slowly. Where are you from? Italy? Italy. Yeah, Italy. it's Italian. Uh, well, it's everything Italian. has a cheese and. Yeah. It's uh, our culture. Yeah. Culture. Yeah. Prosciutto? Si. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is a pig. Yeah. yeah, we know, we know. Yeah. Like the tooth fairy isn't real, but they'll still keep that imagination alive because yeah. I don't think kids at a young age should be scarred like that. Yeah. Do you think there's any moral implication of lying to them about the tooth fairy compared, comparative to, to lying to them about, say, a tortured animal being put in their mouth? Well, 
obviously like a tooth fairy like it's yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it's like a figment of imagination when it's yeah, just your parent it's not as bad as a tortured animal for say like a tooth fairy it's just like it's the tooth fairy in it like it's it's not gonna like you know scar them for life or whatever but do you think it's wrong to give a child something that they might be against in their heart like let's just say a little kid they love animals and we feed them animals but we don't tell them what goes on to get that do you think that's right or wrong I think it's a hard topic because it's morality is very um, de it depends from a person or from okay. society so from the society so uh, right now I would say if we know the cause of climate change and we're talking so much that like eating um, animal products are contributing to the climate change yeah. I would say it's not okay if we have this knowledge yeah. but I can imagine that like 10 or 20 years ago that would be totally like fine right so it, you know what what's really interesting to me is that when I talked about the human brain you went it wasn't a hard thought you said automatically that's wrong but with the with the animal we started talking about climate change and all these things and not the animal being stabbed in the throat and whether or not it's right or wrong to, sh to give this, you know, like it was a really easy question and answer with the human, but it's not so much for the animal. We, could we agree first, like most children are fundamentally against cruelty to animals or, you know, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So, so I'm a slaughterhouse, no thanks mum, I don't want that ham. Yeah, uh, it's not very televised now, like, you know, you see adverts of like, let's say like McDonald's, for example. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I just had a McDonald's, had yeah. chicken nuggets. No, I'm not really that ashamed, but... Um, <laughs> But um, on TV, it's advertised like, oh, there's free range chickens, you know, um, running through fields. But in yeah. reality, they're not. So, yeah. yeah they, it, they go to the slaughterhouse. Yeah. So the field is kind of irrelevant when they get yeah. stabbed in the throat. So in a way, it's fine. But in a way, it's like not fine. It's a bit of both. So fine it's line. like, if what they don't know won't hurt them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Shield them from the truth. So I guess you're fine with Hannibal feeding human brains to the kid on the plane then? I mean, now that we've put it in that sense, um, you just agreed that it's okay to sh feed them, you know, slaughtered animals. So slaughtered humans, if they don't know, it's fine. Well, no, it's not fine. But in the same sense of giving an animal food, like a human food, like um, an animal, then it's just like yeah. justified in a way. There's so many like arguments now, and like yeah. those people are turning vegan for like the right thing because mm -hmm. animals yeah. are being treated badly. Yeah, but it's just. I can't put well, it into words. I, I feel that there's a massive contradiction happening here where like it's not okay to feed human beings to the little kid but it's okay to feed them hacked off pieces of lamb. I think that's just naturally because humans, yeah. as humans we're more intelligent, you know, we're the dominant like creature earth. on earth at this point. Uh, for me, I don't think it's fair because I mean when you think of certain animals like I know some of them has a specific person uh, Purpose and they serve us, but at the same time Why is more okay to kill a pig than to kill a dog? I mean, yeah dog is nice you cuddle with them It's like cute, but at the same time, you know, like when you see the pig I think you know, we shouldn't make this comparison and like yeah. saying, you know, this one is more useful than the other because I think both of their value, like life values are similar, yeah. you know. And not all humans are intelligent, are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, we're not going to say, you're intelligent, you're not, you die, you don't, you're in my sandwich, you're in my brains, in my aeroplane lunch or whatever, so. Sometimes like when you're at someone else's house and they, you know, give you meat uh, to eat, like, or it's like they've cooked it for you, you have to have it, like, yeah. you don't really have a choice. Oh. Even though, like, you might not want to, like. Oh, now you're being rude and I hate rude people. Drink your broth like a good boy. Come on, sit. Oh, well, it's not very good, buddy. Sometimes, like, if people cook like a full-on like meaty meal and stuff, I'll just have a salad or something because it won't be the meat I'd eat. Like, in my opinion, like, you wouldn't want to be rude to say, "I oh, know Hannibal. I don't want those brains from that human. No. I know you prepared those brains." Yeah. No. You, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that smells great. Yeah. yeah. Let's try them, please. I would really like some. Um, excuse me, Hannibal. No brains for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like it, it's it's just like you know, I I, I wouldn't. I, I've sort of gone off me a bit. Yeah, at the moment. I, I understand like, why. I don't haven't eaten meat get, for six years. Still here, still alive, still healthy. But 
Yeah, but I would say it's also connected that we are like the same species. So for us, yeah. it's like unacceptable to okay. kill a person or to eat someone. Yeah. That's why like cannibalism, when we like hear that someone was like a yeah. cannibalism, there's like a huge uh, like... I get it. Yeah. So. It's the same species. We're not used to it. But if it's yeah. a dog or a, a dog as well, no, no, no. But a pig is more acceptable. But inside the the animal, they don't want to die just as much as you know. Maybe a small child doesn't want to die like a pig escaping the knife. And I'd say like with the vegan stuff, it, it looks like a good idea yeah. in my opinion. Like I'd say um, you know not killing as many animals in especially in the like the harmful ways where they're being essentially being tortured or like really harmed it's it's not really nice for the animal and you can kind of imagine your shoes if you're like that it wouldn't yeah. be like nice for you so it's it makes more sense why people are making more like meats out of plant based stuff yeah. and it makes more sense because it, it, people say it tastes the exact same yeah so it's, it's it kind of seems like why can't we just do all that as well like so in principle you agree that it's wrong to give a kid human brains without their knowledge but Animals without their knowledge? What are you on the fence? Do we get a final answer? Like I think I, we should I, tell them everything. Yeah, them. and of course, I think at, when they're young, they don't really have the chance to decide fully for themselves. Okay. But still, I think they need to be aware. Okay. Of course, like not showing them murder from the age of one, but uh, yeah, so I think yeah. it's good when you raise a child in a way that they are curious and they want to know how the yeah. world is. So then they can make a proper choice, like their own informed decision. In principle, if an animal screamed and died inside of a slaughterhouse, you think that's fine to feed to a kid without their knowledge? So that's, that's all I'm trying to find out, like, because it seems like we're going from one sort of to another, but we're not... I, I'd say they, they should know. They should know. I think they should, just so they have a choice of whether they do find it disturbing, they, do, they don't like it, and they should turn into a vegetarian or vegan diet. I think, like, children should know what okay. they are eating. Yeah. Right? And if, they, if you were to lie to them, you'd think that that would be wrong, to lie to them? I, like... About that? I, I think I it's pretty clear so. to them that the animal yeah. like needed to be killed. I, I don't know, like I don't remember how I was thinking about it. Like I just knew that oh, you know, the, the meat yeah. is so tasty, I don't want to give I up on know. it. Like let's just say I showed you footage of a gas chamber, pig screaming for their life, getting stabbed in the throat, huh? and you continued to feed your kid there and your kid like, I love pepper pig. Do you think there's something morally wrong with that, like deep down? Yeah, there is something wrong with it, but I think we're so used to giving like children me and like the same diet that everyone else grew up on that like veganism is kind of new like not a lot of people actually like actually know about it like if I went home today I said oh I'm vegan now my dad would be like oh what's that like what can't you eat what can you not eat oh yeah so they're practical issues but in principle the morality yeah. like in the moral issue would be that it's unethical to yeah. feed kids something they're probably morally against without their knowledge or consent yeah yeah pretty much cool Maybe try to find a vegan version and yeah, maybe we should tell little kids before we give them yeah. dead animal. <laughs> yeah. After all, as your mother tells you, my mother certainly told me, it is important, she always used to say, always to try new things. Open up. Thank you so much for the conversation. You already know so much about it, so that was really good. Because I'm just drawing the human comparison in it. Yeah, just here. Joe, Joe, you can Thanks for the interview, mate. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You Enjoy your time. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Really? Nice to meet you. No worries. Uh, what's the He's like, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's f***ing me up. <laughs>